Hello and welcome. This is the additional mathematics form 5 textbook chapter 3 formative exercise 3.4 discussion. Okay, so this practice only has uh, three questions, so it's quite short. And, and let's get going. Okay, so the first one um, a factory produces palm oil, palm cooking oil. Now one of the cylindrical uh, tank containing cooking oil is leaking, so the height of the tank. Of the oil in the tank decreases at this rate. So we have to write dH dT equals negative 5. Uh, the unit I think is okay, I will just leave it out. Now the rate of change uh, of the volume is given by dV dH equals 3 over 5t minus 6. Now the thing is you need to find the volume. Yeah? Before you find the volume, you need volume after 0 0.5 hours up but please take note this is in minute later you have to convert this to minute 0 0.5 hours is basically 30 minutes okay so you need to find dv dt first now we know dv dt by using chain rule is dv put a dt here we have to put a dh and a dh now dv dh is 3 over 5 d minus 6 dh dt is negative 5 yeah, from these two given information. So if you multiply inside, you should get 30 minus 3t. Yeah, 30 minus 3t. So I got dv dt to find v in terms of t. I have to integrate 30 minus 3t dt. So this is 30t minus 3t squared over 2. Um, now we're assuming this, uh, actually, better we integrate you to put a plus c. We're assuming that when t is 0, volume is 0. So C is also 0, so your volume is 30 T 3 over 2 T square, right? So now, when T equals to 30, after 0 0.5 hours, 0 0.5 hours 30 minutes, so your volume will be 30 uh, times 30 minus 3 over 2 30 square, so this will be negative 50, yeah? So we are talking about volume that leaks out. Eh? So initially the volume that leaks out is none, is zero. So after 30 minutes, the total volume that leaks out is 450. Eh? So volume that leaks is 450 cm3. Okay, now let's move on to question number two. The diagram on the right shows the shape of a cross section of a machine cover produced by a 3D printer. So the cover is made of a, a kind of plastic. So internal external shape is uh, represented by these two functions. I can see here yeah, the first function is the one in lower one, the internal. The external is the one above, uh, the one outside. So estimate the cost of the same 20 cover if the cost uh, for one cm cube. One cm cube is volume of the plastic is seven cent. So we need to use volume and we're going to rotate 360 degree about the x-axis, the y-axis. So maybe you can just imagine this. This is the first one. When I rotate 360 degree about y-axis, this is the volume I'm getting. I subtract the smaller one, right? And I'll get the hollow solid. It, it looks something like this. I'm sorry, my drawing, drawing is a bit ugly. All right, so we can say the first volume. Okay, remember you need to make x square as a subject. Maybe I just rewrite first. Let me write a from here, your y is negative 1 over 6. And this is the first, second one. This is the first one. The first one, the external one is a bigger one. It's the one with negative 1 20 x squared plus 3. So I rearrange it. 1 over 20 x squared is now 3 minus y. So my x squared is 20 of 3 minus y. The second one is 1 over 16 x squared is 2.8 minus y x squared is 16 times 2.8 minus y so your volume will be now remember to put a pi so i'm going to add a pi and take out the 20 straight away it's from 0 to 3 as you can see the first one is higher right it's from 0 here to 3 here 3 here okay second one uh, okay let me write this first 3 minus y dy second one is 16 pi integrate 0 to 2.8 2.8 minus y dy so when you integrate you copy the bracket increase the power by 1 divide by the increased power differentiate inside 
0 to 3. This is 16 pi. 2.8 minus y, increase the power by 1, divide by the increased power, differentiate inside 0 to 2.8. So this is minus 10 pi. So when I put 3 inside, I get 0. When I put 0 inside, I get 9, right? Yeah? So this will be 16 divided by 2 is 8 pi. So if I put 2.8 inside, I get 0. If I put 0 inside, I get 2.8 squared. Now if you use calculator, 2.8 squared is 7.84. So now we can calculate this. This is 90 pi minus 8 times 7.84. You get 62.72 pi. When you subtract, you get 27.28 pi. Okay, this is volume for one cover. Now you need volume for 20 covers. So your total volume will be 27.28 pi times 20. Now you can choose uh, to, to round off straight away because I think it's fine to, to use 3.142 or the calculator's pi, just times 20. Uh, I think we can just round on 1714 cm cubed. So this is the total volume needed. Yeah. Now we know one cm cubed, the cost is 7 cents. So you need 1714. So your total cost will be 1714 times 0 0.07. Uh, this is 7 cents. So RM119.98. Right? Okay. Question number three. The rate of production of a certain machine in a factory is given. Alright? So K is a, now I, sorry, I need to tell you this. I think the question should mention K is the total. Otherwise your answer is not, not the same. Eh? Total number of machine produced and T is not number of weeks. Eh? See, it's supposed to say after T years. Eh? You notice this is in years, this is in year. This cannot be weeks, it must be years, all right? So number one, you're given your dk dt to find k, you must integrate 50 bracket 1 plus 300 over t plus 25 square dt. Okay, I think the 50 you can just leave it out. When you integrate 1, you get 1t. Now remember if the bracket is below, put a negative in front, copy 300, copy the bracket Reduce the power by 1, 1, 1. Differentiate t is 1. So I don't have to write all this. Huh? Plus c. Now, initially t equals 0. When you start, t is 0. So number of machine produced is also 0. Right? So your c, you have to find the c. Yeah? This is 0, 50, 0 minus 300. 0 plus 25 is just 25. Plus c. 300 divided by 25 times 50, there's a negative here, you bring over, C should be 600. So my function K is now 50 T minus 300 over T plus 25 plus 600. Okay, so in order to match the answer given at the back of the book, right? So uh, K represents the total machine produced. Yeah, total machine produced, right? So if you look at part A, they say number of machine produced after five years. So we're talking about total. After five years, how many you have, right? So you sub E equals to five. So K is 50, five minus 300, five plus 25. You can just write 20, 30 la, plus 600, right? So use your calculator. You should get, now this is a very, uh, this is 350, right? 350, yes. 250, okay, so total 350 machine produced after five years. Now, here for part B, they say number of machine produced in the six year. To find the number of machine produced in the six year, you have to find total number of machine produced after six year minus total number of machine produced after five years. So we first sub D with six, right? K equals to 50, six minus 300, uh, six plus 25 plus 600. Now, if you calculate this, it's a bit ugly. At least you get 416.1. Uh, so we just drop the point 0.1 because number of machine cannot have decimal. So it's just 416. Okay. So number of machine produced in the six 
year, you need to take the total machine produced in the first six years, minus total machine produced in the first five years, and you get 66. Okay? Okay, that's it. That's all for formative practice 3.4. Formative exercise.